SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Carolina Gamecocks and Oklahoma State Cowboys will meet up in a non-conference college basketball matchup. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. Friday night's opening tip scheduled for 9.30 Eastern Time on ESPNU from Gallagher Iba Arena in this Big 12 SEC Challenge event. The Cowboys anywhere between 17 and 17 and a half point home favorites while no betting total has been established at SBRodds.com. South Carolina is coming off a two-week break. Its next game will be on December 17th. So second-year head coach Frank Martin has had plenty of time to get his youthful squad ready for this game and for the rest of the non-conference and SEC schedule. And Martin compiled a 4-3 and all-time record against Oklahoma State during his time as head coach of Kansas State. So expect a major defensive effort from his squad. Also, from an offensive standpoint, the team should uh, receive a lift with the return of senior guard Bruce Ellington, who is the football team's leading receiver this season. 0-7 straight up, 5-2 against the spread as road underdogs of 12.5 or more points the last two plus seasons. Oklahoma State suffered its first loss of the 2013-14 campaign. It's important to remember, though, that it lost that game against Memphis, a team, a quality opponent that it faced, that it faced for the second time in the span of two days, a very difficult situation for that team to overcome despite being favored in that second contest. Also, the Cowboys averaging 91.9 points per game despite being held under 70 points in its last two contests. Offensively, sophomore point guard Marcus Smart is the, player, is the lead player to handicap in this affair given the fact that he's averaging 20.5 points per game. From a sports betting trend perspective, the under is 14-7 and seven in the Cowboys' last 21 opportunities at home. I think that's a very significant edge in terms of playing this game, given the fact that, like I said, South Carolina coming off such a long layoff, I think if they want to remain competitive in this basketball game, it's going to come on the defensive end, which should cause problems for Oklahoma State, who has struggled offensively uh, in its last couple games. So I'm going to go under when the number is established in the market. This has been another edition of Across the Board here at SBRForum.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Jeff Grant Sports.